We all know Schalke, right? They're the German giants who've fallen on very hard times. Well, things could be getting even worse for them now, because this season, only goal difference is keeping them from being relegated into the Dritter Liga. You might think, what's the worst that could happen? A season in the third division, they'll probably just get promoted straight away. Well, relegation would actually be the end of this club. If Schalke get relegated to the third division, they wouldn't get a license to play matches in the Dritter Liga, mainly due to their heavy debt of around 170 million euros. This means they'd essentially have to start over as an amateur club all the way down in the sixth or seventh division. This position makes Schalke a must-play club in FC24. In your career, you can play this in two different ways. The first is rebuilding the real Schalke and making sure they never drop down and get relegated and instead get promoted back to the Bundesliga. The second way to play them is actually probably the most fun way, is to fully kill the team off and create a new club to replace them in the third division with creator club mode. Let's talk about the real club first and then the creator club rebuild towards the end of this video. It's actually hard to talk about the club in career mode without talking about some of the real life issues because they'll play a massive part of your career mode save. Last year, Schalke were relegated from the Bundesliga because they tried to compete with majorly limited funds. The most recent Schalke transfers have either been loans, free transfers or really cheap deals. In fact, the highest bid they ever put in was about £1.8 million. Essentially, you'll have to challenge for promotion and then try and survive in the Bundesliga while the whole time you'll have the budget of an EFL League 1 team or maybe a low-rated championship team. Imagine the struggle of trying to get someone like Rotherham to survive in the Premier League by the end of Season 2. That's basically how badly Schalke are run. They have a 62,000 seater stadium, they have one of the best academies in the world and over 160,000 fee paying fan members which is actually more than Dortmund and over 7 times more than current Bundesliga leaders Leverkusen have. But despite all of this, they have the same budget as a tiny team from Yorkshire where they barely even sell 5,000 tickets. The big reason for their small budget is their insane amount of debt. They spent a lot of money firing managers in the Bundesliga, even one of them that had them second place at one point, and then they let dozens of top players leave for free. This included people like Goretzka, Matip, Max Meyer, Kolasniak, Nubel and Chupo Moting. You're going to be the manager that has to turn this all around. You're going to have to try and rebuild the club while also paying off some of this debt. Over the past two seasons, the debt has lowered from 180 million euros to 165 million, but until you've got a club balance that covers this debt, you should seriously limit your spending. To give you an idea of what I mean by limiting your spending, I'd suggest you never spend more than 50% of your transfer budget until you have a club balance that is at 165 million. I like this idea because you'd probably need 5 or 6 seasons to actually raise that much money, even with something overpowered like 5 star youth scouts, and by that time you can finally unleash some of the power that Schalke really does have. You will be in the top half of the Bundesliga and you will finally be able to spend on the same level as someone like Bayern Munich. If you look at some of the historic signings that they made in the past, they've brought in massive names like Raul and they did actually try to spend at the same level as Bayern Munich, but I know that you'll be better at signing the right players to keep this club progressing. I really wish EA would add some things like debt and points deductions actually into career mode because if you didn't know about some of these issues then Schalke would just seem like any other club in this league. Maybe it'll be something they add on FC25. Anyway, if you're planning on rebuilding the real Schalke, then the academy and a few cheap transfers are 100% the way forward. Promotion needs to happen as soon as possible simply because there's so much more money given to you in the Bundesliga from things like TV rights. Once you're there, you should survive and slowly build towards something like the Conference League, which shouldn't be too hard of a challenge. The main problem is finding the right players that are cheap enough for you to sign while you're in the second division because by then the academy will have kicked in and you'll have some nice high rated players. Okay, so on to creating a club. If the club does not get a license to actually play in the third division, you could easily see them trying to buy a team that's already in the third division's license as a compromise. This effectively means that the club would lose its history but keep all of its rights and branding and put them on a new team. This is a bit like what Celtic fans say about Rangers or what Wimbledon fans will say about MK Dons. It would cause a lot of distrust in the otherwise quite honourable German football system, so I doubt this option would happen. That leaves you with one other option, to create a new club. Thankfully Schalke's logo and kit are actually quite easy to recreate inside career mode and I've done it here if you need an example. I'm not sure if Schalke 24 was quite as good of a name as Schalke 04, but this gives you a totally new team and we can try and rebuild one of Germany's historic giants while starting in the third division. 
Because the club is in so much debt, we can actually include that as part of our storyline. In the first season, don't spend a single euro trying to sign any players, just rely on free transfers and loans. In season 2, let's say you can use 25% of your budget. In season 3, 50%, season 4, 75%, until in season 5, your team is finally free of debt and you can spend big. The one thing that no one can take away from Schalke, whether you've rebuilt them or created a new club, is their world-class academy. No matter how you decide to play as them, it's going to be a central part of every single thing that you do. Almost all of their successes over the past two decades had a spine of academy players paying a massive part. Manuel Neuer and Leroy Sané grew to become two of Germany's best players after coming through their academy. Malik Theor and Leon Goretzka could potentially get to the same level in their national teams too. Benedict Howardes, Matip, Heiritz, Draxler and Meyer all had top potential while they were wearing the famous blue shirt that Schalke have. If you can create your club realistically, you'll choose something like debt ridden and you'll have a starting budget of around £1 million, which you should probably be mostly spending on your academy. Of course, this money should only come from selling players that are generated in your creative club player because we're not actually going to use a single euro of our starting transfer budget. This can actually be quite an overpowered way of playing career mode, and if you want to see a video where I build from literally zero pounds to having the world's best academy in League 2 in under two years, check out my channel page. Anyway, as you slowly progress from the third division to the second division, most of what we said for the real team will still apply to you. Every year's transfer budget will still be limited, and you won't have the debt hanging around because you'll have wiped that off when you set up your new club. Just keep the spending limited, not only to slow your rise to the top, but it's an easy way to have a little bit of realism in your save if you do only use something like 25 or 50% of your transfer budget every single season. There is actually a third and totally different way you could play a Schalke. You could simulate a takeover, which isn't actually that realistic for playing in Germany, but then you could decide to play as director of football. Takeovers can totally change the idea of a save. Instead of doing a slow rebuild with Schalke, you could slowly try to build up and get from the second division back to the Bundesliga while you're pretending that a Danish billionaire wants to find and develop the next Christian Eriksen. That's just an example of a team, but it's super easy to do. All you'd have to do is move Eriksen or Schmeichel, someone Danish, to the Bundesliga, retire as them in player career mode and take over as Schalke. All of a sudden, you can play as director of football. If you're not sure how to do that, then watch my video on how to play director of football, which I'll link at the end of this one. Personally, I actually really enjoy playing career mode in this way, and I think Schalke could be one of the best saves for your first attempt at being a director of football. Anyway, hopefully at least one of the ideas for a rebuild in today's video is what you were looking for when you clicked on it. I know I found out quite a bit about the reasons for their downfall while we're searching for the script, and if you have too, then make sure you like the video and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you soon for another career mode video, but make sure to check out the playlist and the video on screen right now if you're interested in director of football, because I think you'd love both of them. But anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Cheers and goodbye.